Hey YouTube, another week's past, another video is out. This week, however, I'm going to introduce you to a different game. It is Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's got the card game. It is a game that wasn't very widely produced, it wasn't out for long, but it was featured in the anime. It's called <coughs> Dungeon Dice Monsters. Pick this up really cheap on eBay for £2. Really cheap, considering we go for a lot more than that on eBay. Last minute bid. I'm going to open this up and show you the contents. It comes with <coughs> one game mat. It's where you play it, of course. Points, and some of them are already out, and monster load tokens. Two abacuses. They keep track of your very quests that you have throughout the game. You can have a maximum of 10. And dungeon pieces. They form the path on the board that you need to get to your opponent. Dice. They have summoning quests as you as seen on the anime. Moving quest and all sorts of different things that provide you with help throughout the game. Let you summon monsters, let you do abilities, let you move, let you attack, let you defend. And in this tin, I've stored cards and figures. The game came, the game usually comes with these six monsters. Force Raider. Knight of Twin Swords, Gear Freed, Buster Blader, Strike Ninja, and Thunderball. <laughs> However, the guy was nice enough to throw in an extra two monsters, a Power Dragon and a Dark Fire Dragon. And I also bought an extra two monsters, Blue Eyes and Blue Eyes Ultimate. And I'll show you the figures right now. That's a Monster Lord figure. Instead of using that little bit of cardboard I showed you before, which is this. I get to use this because it's me. <laughs> it's even the card to represent it. The monster load is you. Okay, I'll show you each of these individually. Okay, first up is Blue Eyes Right Dragon. It showed you it was the same colour as Blue Eyes Ultimate when I bought it, but instead it's see-through. I looked it up and it's actually the promo that came with the Dungeon Dice episodes which were done on DVD. Power Dragon. Buster Blader. Strike Ninja. Thunder Ball. Now you turn swords. Dark Fire. Gear Feed. And finally, X Saber Pocket Knight. Yeah, it's Force Feed, I mean. Okay. Gonna show you what the general idea of a game is. You have a monster load on one side. You can see I've just placed them there. And one on this side. Now each monster lord is represented by three heart points. They're your life. It's like life points in Yu-Gi-Oh! But you only get three. Now the idea is, is to... The idea is... To build up your dungeon path across the board. Towards your opponent. Monster Lord. Before V, can build their dungeon first. Sounds simple. I don't think so. Because, in order to build your dungeon path, you have to summon monsters. See, 
There's three tiers of dice. You've got your level 1 dice, level 2 dice, level 3, and level 4. The real difference is the level of mod cycle summon. These are level 1 summoning crests. You need to roll two of the same crests to summon that monster. So this has got four summoning crests on one dice. A level 4 dice, however, only has a 1. However, it does come with an abundance of extra different quests, like two times progress quests. Which is good if you want to try and get quests. So you basically you take your turn, you roll your dice. So I get three level one, level 1 summoning quests on my first turn. So what you do, it's called Dimension of Dice. You place a dungeon path down, and they see where the star is on the path. You place a level 1 monster of your choosing. So in my case, I am going to choose Vorce Raider, and place it on the path. You need progress quest to move your monster one space at a time unless it's got a special ability which allows you to do more than that. Or in blue eyes ultimate cases it can only move once per turn. Attack quests allow you to attack a monster. This works a little bit like Pokemon. Say, say I have my blue eyes red dragon it's got 50 HP, 40 attack, 30 defense. Attacks Darkfire Dragon with 20 HP, 20 attack and 10 defense. What will happen is, if they haven't any defense crests, they can spend a defense crest and defend. If they do defend, it absorbs 10 damage. So, effectively, Blue Eyes will attack for 30, and it will do an overflow of 30 to his HP, which will kill it. If not, it takes damage a bit like a Pokemon, and it's reduced for it forever. There's also items. I had to make fake cards. Well, I didn't have to. I chose to, just to make the game more interesting. I made extra monsters, like Cyber and Dragon, Elemental Hero Flame Ring Man, Master of Oz, and Steam Gyroid, because I got a hold of some figures from a guy I know, and, hey, what do you know? It's small enough to fit on you. So I thought I'd make some cards out of them. And the figures are small enough to fit on the dungeon. For example, Cyber and Dragon fits on the dungeon. Gyroid. Elemental to your flare flaming man. Master of Oz. Just adds more variant variation to the game. Gives you a few more monsters or something. And as for items, I made my own. Because it's not out in English, only in the Japanese game and the video game. This one destroys monsters and steps on it. And this one destroys any monsters in the adjacent dungeon. So save that as here. Monster steps on that. Chain mine destroys anything in that direction until like, it hits a dead end. That direction, that direction, and that direction. I really recommend giving this game a try if you get a few friends together to play. It's underrated, but it's very fun. There's no, not much skill involved. There's always a degree of skill in any game you play, but... Doesn't matter what people say, there's always some degree of skill. Well, that's Dungeon Dice Monsters. I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough of the game. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe.